Is that the fact of what? Play with mix. You know, it actually looks really cool. It's the weekend, guys. That calls for a party. It's Friday, Jordy. Get inside. That's yeah, Friday. It's copycat Friday. So while Janik is hanging up the light, I guess I can fill you guys in in what we'll be recreating today. We're going to have a look at the new music video from The Weeknd, Sacrifice, where you can see a soul leaving his body or whatever it should supposed to be. Look, look, look. look. You, what, you can, you. Where you can see a soul leaving his body or whatever it should be. Let's get into it. Jordi has day off, so he's sitting at home doing nothing, but we can still bully him. Hey Google, play Despacito in the living room. Hey Google, spell Despacito in the living. Despacito in the living is spelled D E S P A C I T O I. I got it. Spell Despacito. Despacito in the living room is spelled D E S. Hey Google, stop! S Google, stop! I Google! B you try. Hey Google, play Despacito in the living room. Okay, Despacito from Spotify. Playing on the living room. Emotional, damn it! In our video of last week, Ryan asked how we made our shadows. Well, this is actually a very complicated process where we drag a Red Giant plugin onto our clip. And that's it. Red Giant has a super easy plugin called Shadow where you just can simply drag it on your clip, change some parameters and have a super good looking shadow. But if you don't have that plugin, you can just take a duplicate of your talent, make it black, put it on the ground and there's a shadow. A few years ago, we actually made a similar effect where we use these smoke bombs to create some practical smoke which flows from our face but now that we're older and wiser we know that using the huge stock library of story blocks the sponsor for today's video is a lot easier in their ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty free high quality stock assets you can find everything you need for your vfx videos like for example dust particles green screenshots smoke assets lens flares and so much more now speaking out of experience, we use a lot of smoke assets for various effects. And because Storyblocks has such a wide variety, we always find something perfect for that particular shot. They really help us to bring our VFX shots to life without compromising on anything. Like you can find stock assets in HD to 4K resolution, various After Effects templates which will save you a lot of time, epic music and sound effects to make your VFX realistic and again much more. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from the library with the unlimited all access plan or you can check out the other affordable plans there's one for every need if you want to know more about storyblocks and how to start downloading right away click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom hello guys i thought to take a day off but here i am For this effect, we're gonna shoot from a tripod to make it ourselves easy. We're gonna recreate the look and feel by placing an overhead light above our talent while they're doing their thing, and that's it. Inside After Effects, the first thing we will do is a simple position tracking of our talent's face. We simply track something with some good contrast like the nose. Once we have our tracking data saved to a null object, we can move on to some rotoscoping. Duplicate a talent's clip and on the duplicate we're going to rotoscope their face and neck. The actual effect will only cover the face but the neck will give us some more room to mask and blend stuff. Now that our face is singled out, we can pre-comp the rotoscope layer to avoid later problems with adding masks or effects. Which we will add right now. The first effect is going to be the smear effect. Effect. Look for it in the library and add it to the pre combed face layer. Place the From option on the exact same place as the previous Track Null object. The two option can be placed outside the frame. Now, tweak the Reach and Radius options till you have something like this. Next, we're going to make the smear dynamic by linking it to our tracking data. However, we don't have any data for the top of our smear, but we can fix it by duplicating the original Tracking Null object and placing it off screen, while also giving it a small offset of 2 or 3 frames. Now, we just have to Alt click on the smears From and To option and parent them to the position of the corresponding null object. This will leave you with a moving smear effect, but of course it doesn't look quite right yet. So we added a directional blur to mimic the motion blur, a turbulent displays effect with an animated offset to give the disturbed look. 
a roughened edges for a softer and more random edge, and last a hue and saturation to tone down the colors, leaving you with already a good looking soul stream. However, we want to give our stream the feeling of moving fast upwards, and this we did with a noise map. We created a black solid layer and added a fractal noise effect to it. We then tweaked the settings until we had something like this right here, and next we gave it a directional blur to again mimic the motion blur. And now we just have to change the track mat option of our pre comped face layer to Luma Inverted, and now we have a fast moving soul stream. Next we selected everything except the original clip, pre-comped it and also duplicated it. On the bottom soul stream we are going to add a fastbox blur effect and blur it a whole bunch. This layer will serve as a sort of glow so you can lower the opacity if it's too bright. Our last effect is going to be the light burst emitting from the talent's face. For this we again only need the face so let's look for the rotoscoped face pre-comp layer and copy that to our main composition underneath our soul stream layers and remove all the effects on it. Then the only thing we need to do is add a CC light burst effect and of course place the center on the right spot and tweak the settings. Now the very last step is going to be a mask on our soul stream. Create a mask to remove everything below the chin, animate it so it follows along with your talent and do this for the entire length of the clip. Once you are done, copy and paste the mask on your glow layer and on your light burst layer. And voila, that's it. Lorenzo? What are you doing? I'm trying to concentrate, Jordi. You're concentrating about what? So you can make your own music video just like The Weeknd. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, definitely hit that like button. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to check out the video here on my left side, guys. It's really cool. So go click on it and stay creative.